Let me show you a free plugin that can back up and restore your WordPress site. This is extremely useful when you have a site that just broke or it got hacked. You have a version that you can go ahead and restore. In this case, I'm going to show you a plugin that's called Updraft Plus, and I'm going to show you the free version. So let's go to my desktop right now. What's up, everyone? I'm going to show you this free plugin. Like I said, it's called Updraft Plus, and it's a great option, especially when you want to play it on the safe side. Just in case you get hacked, just in case you break the site, with some other plugins or something like that, you will have a backup with this. Now to install it, it's super easy. Go to your WordPress site, go to plugins, add new and search for updraft. It's this one right here. Download it, activate it. And once it's activated, you're going to find it under the settings updraft plus backups. Now, before I show you how to actually use it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. In case you need a hosting plan, I do recommend their shared hosting plans. It's affordable and it's great for what you're going to pay. Now, if you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description, go to hosting, go to web hosting, and you're going to find the shared hosting plans they have from $299 to $999. Now there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you. So let's go ahead and select this one, the most popular one. And once you're here, you want to select the amount of months you want to lock in the price for. I recommend 40 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now you can see the price right now, it's $191.52. But if you add my coupon code, which is SASMaster and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172.37. So if you need a short hosting plan, use my coupon code. Backing up your site, it's extremely easy using Updraft. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously create a backup. That way we can have one in case we need to restore it. So in this case, we're going to back up now and we're going to have the option to select database and the include the files in the backup. Now, yes, you do want to select the database. Don't you dare back it up without it, because if you restore it without the database, um, the site's not going to work. It's just going to be broke because the data is there. OK, so we're going to back up now. And since this is a really small site, it's going to back up really quickly. If you have a larger site, it might take more time. Just give it a few minutes. There we go. We just created the backup. Now, if you need to restore this backup, you can go ahead and do it from this button right here and you'll have a list of all your backups right there. Now, I would recommend that you download at least one of these backups in certain time periods, or if you back it up to your cloud storage, that's much better. OK, so in this case, if I want to restore it, I just click on this, but I would recommend that you download it. So click on others. And once you do, you're going to have this option download to your computer. So download it and you'll have that backup there. And if you need to restore it from your computer, what you need to do is upload backup file. So go ahead and select it, select file here. So like your file that you just downloaded and back up from there. OK, and then it's going to load right here. And to restore it, like I said, just click on restore, select what you want to restore. I do recommend that you select everything again, because if you don't select something, you might be missing it later on and you'll have to do another restore. Example, if you have a contact form from a plugin, once if you don't back up plugins, it's not going to load that contact form and you'll have to do a restore to make it work again. So select everything. Go ahead and do so. Preparing backup, restore it. And it's going to do its magic. It's going to start doing the backup. It's going to start doing the restore super fast. So let's give it a few minutes. There we go. It has been restored. Let me go ahead and return to my configuration. There we go. We now have the restored version. In this case, everything's the same right now because no changes have been made. But in case the site was broken or if it got hacked, well, we have this option to be restored in that point that we backed it up. Now, once you make sure that everything's OK, you can go ahead and delete the old folders. Go ahead and do so, and it's going to delete them. Here we go. And that's all you have to do. Now, in case that you don't have access to the site, what I do recommend is that you go ahead and delete it, install WordPress, install Updraft and go ahead and restore it and you'll have your site back again. So it's super easy to do. I do recommend that you have a e backup plugin all the time. But there you go. That's how you're going to back up and restore so you can have a workable version again using Updraft, the free version. And if you plan to grab a short hosting plan, do use my coupon code. And that's a wrap.